The word occult means hidden, covered, concealed, or secret. The secret of the occult are known only to those who are the leaders or the organizers of the occult. The occult is a practice that leverages supernatural power or knowledge apart from Jesus Christ. Satan is a master deceiver, and the occult is his domain. Some common manifestations of the occult include astrology, witchcraft, horoscope, black magic, fortune telling, and clairvoyance. In today's world, people are getting themselves involved in many questionable occult practices without being aware that they are getting involved in witchcraft. Some people are dabbling in the mystical occult arts and have daily routine reading their horoscope and astrology. The Bible has clear warning against such practices and God will not tolerate anyone who disobey his laws unless they repent. The Bible takes a clear position on this subject, strongly denouncing these practices. God created us and therefore owns us. He has a right to set the rules of our lives. God's words indicate that these practices are part of Satan's strategy of evil tricks and deception. Those are designed to lead us astray. Satan and his demons are real beings looking to destroy us. In Leviticus 19 verse 31, God told us not to turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out and so make yourself unclean by them. I am the Lord your God. Leviticus 20 verse 6, the word of God said, I will set my face against anyone who turns to medium and spiritists to prostitute themselves by following them and I will cut them off from their people. Satan is real and he is dangerous. The Bible warns that Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light, so we should stay away from the occult. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 14 to 15 tells us, But I am not surprised, even Satan disguised himself as an angel of light, so it is no wonder that his servants are disguised themselves as servants of righteousness. In the end, they will get the punishment their wicked deed deserves. The occult is often false and deceitful illusion. Counterfeit miracles, occult magic or divination are a manifestation of demonic powers or the result of demon possession. Of course, the power of Satan and his demon is extremely limited compared to God's power. Many individuals today argue there is no devil no supernatural forces for evil. Some might argue that there is no spiritual danger in attending a seance, play with tarot cards or Ouija boards believing them to be harmless. The spirit world is real, life is spiritual, and all that takes place in this realm first took place in the spirit, regardless if you want to believe it or not. It is the supernatural realm, the one Paul talks about in Ephesians. We fight the rulers against their authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. The Bible tells us, put on the whole armor of God in Ephesians 6 verse 11, because we are not fighting the forces of flesh. Our fight was not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Christians are warned to test every spirit. In 1 John 4 verse 1, the Bible tells us, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. If you are in the practice of occultism, I will advise you to stop and give your life to Jesus Christ, and dispose of all your witchcraft objects in your home. After you remove all these witchcraft object spirits, you have to replace them with the Holy Spirit. If you do not, you will only invite many more evil spirits into that clean and spacious environment. The Bible tells us in Luke 11 verse 24 to 26, when an evil spirit leaves a person, it goes into the desert searching for rest, but when it finds none, it says, I will return to the person I came from. So it returns and finds its former home is all swept and in order. Then the spirit finds seven other spirits more evil than itself, and they all enter the person and live there. And so that person is worse off than before. Let us pray today for freedom from occult practices and invite the Holy Spirit to take residence inside of us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, through the Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I now renounce, repent, and confess every occult, every witchcraft and false religion, commune, and this sect and gang, cult and new age practices, and contact that I know about and those I did not know were abomination and transgression of your word which has taken place. 
I repent and renounce each and every oath, every pledge, every vow, every covenant, every agreement, every pact, promise, binding, every allegiance and belief and false teaching of these abominations. Father, especially those I have been committed to, been involved in, in every form, and those I have practiced or participated in, are not forsaken and renounced tonight. Father, I declare before you and in the presence of my enemy that I renounce him and come out of all agreement in all forms. I surrender myself as a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I am no longer a servant of Satan or participating in his false ways or going to his false ways for healing or experiences. Father, I also repent and stand in the gap and ask for forgiveness for my father and my mother, our ancestors, living and dead on both sides of their families, back over three, four to 25 generations and if it's necessary back over 40 generations even a hundred generations for the practice and involvement in the occult sexual sins in witchcraft false religions communes orders groups sex new age and other practices also all involvement in freemasonry and associated orders associated clubs groups and religions like mormonism judaism kabbalism the illuminati celtic practices and all other false religions and philosophies i renounce all rebellion and disobedience to your word and i also ask that you release me from every evil soul tie and every evil soul tie connected and related to these abominations any people or demon spirits tonight father i stand in a gap i repent and ask for forgiveness for my spouse and children and I ask for release from the evil soul type from those I have been sexually intimate with outside the legal covenant of marriage and those inside the covenant of marriage. I forgive myself and I forgive all ancestors on both sides of the family for their involvement in any occult practices. I repent and stand in the gap for all our spiritual and natural holotry, adultery, idolatry, and fornication and confess it as disobedience and rebellion. I repent where we have been in Babylon and I obey the command to come out of her. I repent where we've been disobedience to all your commandments and gone after other gods and holotry and idolatry. I repent where we have been taught to rebel against you, Lord. Father, I repent where we've been slacking in serving you and have not served you joyfully and gladly for the abundance of all things and also in unbelief and denying your power. We have gone to other gods for them to heal us and to meet our needs. I repent for our idolatry and also keeping and owning cursed object. I repent for us regarding them that have familiar spirit and for us going after them, for seeking after them, consulting them, hearing their prophecies, teachings, and receiving their counsel and for healing, for sacrificing unto them and worshiping them. I repent for where we have sworn falsely by the Lord's name in these involvements and also blaspheme your name. Where we have learned after the abomination of nations and their ways, and the ways of false gods, I repent. I repent where we have made graven images and even bow down to them. And where we have caused our children to pass through fire, caused their unborn to die, and had abortion, and even agree or cause someone to have an abortion, I repent. I repent, renounce, and denounce where we have been involved in these abominations out of fascinations, lies, deception, fear, fear of men, people-pleasing, rejection, self-protection, jealousy. Convict my heart where you will have me be more specific. I repent of all pride, pride of achievement, conceit, arrogance, and considered self-esteem in all ranks and position of these abominations. Father, anoint me to keep with the fruits of my repentance. I repent for the worship and fellowship with darkness and worship of men and Satan, where we have been eating at the table of demons. I repent for all idolatry from these abominations. I now surrender my body as an instrument of righteousness, a living and holy sacrifice to you, Father, the only true and living God. I submit myself totally to the Lord Jesus Christ and his rulership tonight. I totally denounce and renounce Satan in his kingdom of all ways of transgressing the holy word of God. I give myself entirely to the Lord Jesus Christ to live as one who belongs to the kingdom of God. Father, I will not sell or give away, but destroy every burn, all certificates, all letterheads, all membership cards, all badges, any uniforms, any mentors and cloaks. 
I also ask that any representation of any of these in the spirit world also be destroyed by the fire of God. I repent where we have defiled your temple, the home, the land, and city we live in. For all these transgressions, and for not keeping your covenant, forgive us tonight. Release us. Release us from our destruction and afflictions. From everywhere we are seared. Father, annul, break, cancel, lift every cord, link, bondage, and legal right. Release us from each and every curse. Cast out and away every demon and power. I call on you, Lord Jesus, in the power of your blood covenant to deliver me and my children. Father, set us free in every area of our lives. Deliver us from all fears. Father, I acknowledge forgiveness is not forgetting, not stuffing down my emotions, not accepting of sinful behavior, not good manners, not giving someone what they deserve, or not being religious and spiritual. I do acknowledge, Father, that forgiveness is obedience to righteous living and a key to my release and eternal destiny. Father, I also choose to forgive myself and accept myself as your son, cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, my Savior. Father, I ask you to release me from the judgment of unforgiveness. Cleanse me from all defilement where grounds were given to spirits of Satan because of my nurturing of unwillingness to forgive and the desire to run with my offenses. I thank you for releasing me tonight, Lord, from the tormentors. Let your healing balm go to these areas that I may be renewed, refreshed, and anointed once again with your Holy Spirit. Father, where a root of bitterness has entered into my soul, I now renounce all bitterness and repent of all bitterness and all the fruits of anger. I accept myself and declare I am no longer guilty of unforgiveness, but forgiving. For as your word writes, when we confess our sin, you are just to forgive us and cleanses us from all defilement. I choose to walk in the light as he is the light, to no longer walk in darkness with unforgiveness towards anyone. Father, I will call your word that Jesus spoke. Love your enemies. Bless those cursing you. Do well to those hating you and pray for abusing and persecuting you so that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. I extend the same forgiveness you have given to me to anyone who has offended me and sinned against me. Father, thank you for the power of forgiveness. Thank you for your kindness which led me to repentance in the name of Jesus. Father, I stand in a gap. Repent for my ancestors on both sides of my family back over three, four, and seven, ten generation, even back forty to a hundred generation for our great pride and our pride in all its form. Father, I repent for all our stiff neck pride and stubbornness with rebellion. I ask where I am listening but never hearing to change my heart and open my ears to understand your word and your ways, for I repent for not being teachable. I repent also where I have justified my own rebellion and disobedience to your word because of a stronghold of the transgression of pride. I repent also of my pride of prosperity, my furniture, my belonging, my car, my income, my business, my career, and even my calling and position. I repent of envy, shame, strife, blasphemy, and arguing. I repent of all greed, gluttony, slothfulness, idleness, and all sexual sins of lust and those committed in drunkenness. I repent where I have compromised your word with your instruction not to sin, to live righteously, and for where I have compromised your word to follow after the lust of the flesh and the ways of the world. Father, I ask you to bring to death the sin structure of all the pride, stubbornness, rebellion, and cause me to realize that I am to live a life of humility in agreement with you. I repent and renounce all fascination with the forbidden and even the supernatural. I repent why I have unknowingly allowed this stronghold of pride to counterfeit my life in the works of manifestation of your Holy Spirit. Father, I ask you for you to loose my ears, my eyes, and tongue so I can hear, so I can see and speak to move in your Holy Spirit. Father, where I have opened myself up to false tongues because of pride and any other religious spirit or evil spirit from the laying on hands because of pride has not allowed me to hear or see or speak even to slumber. Father, I ask for deliverance of all these spirits that have entered into me. Father, where I may have any of this specific spirit of pride, foot of pride, rod of pride, crown of pride, great pride, pride of life, I claim the children's bread of deliverance of demons. Father, anoint my prayer with power and authority tonight to cast out Leviathan and his connected and related spirit. I do break the curse of Leviathan back 10 generations on both sides of my family and destroy any legal rights or ground which gives its spirit reason to operate. I destroy all this in the mighty name of my Lord Jesus Christ. 
Father, where all pride has brought infirmity, disease, illnesses, and sickness, I ask for healing and deliverance so I can be released from depression, from weariness, from loneliness, emotional pain, oppression, fatigue, fatigue unto death, excessive tiredness, exhaustion, death, suicide. Father, I bind Leviathan and the seven heads being little pride, arrogant pride, spiritual pride, rationalization, justification, logic, pride in knowing and using these things. I also bind Neptune, Dagon, and possession of all associated Egyptian spirits in spirit of the world and worldliness. Father, in the power and authority of the name Jesus Christ, I bind Orion, the strongman, and the seven bonds of Star of Orion. Father, I also bind any of all connected and related spirit of Prince Charming, false gifts and revelation in town, and bells above in and over myself. They do not manifest other than to live peaceable and quietly. Father, I command Leviathan not to twist or whine or take control in any way of my body or soul to only manifest to live. Father, let a hook be put in Leviathan's jaw and him drawn out, taken to his place appointed and all other spirit I have to live in and over me, my children, my wife. Thank you for bringing to death the pride in my life so I can remain delivered from pride and all associated and related spirits of pride. Father, all honor, glory, and all power belongs to you tonight. Thank you for my deliverance of these spirits. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.